Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! My fat man happy dance. Fat man in his gaming chair. That's what happens when you get stuff that you've been wanting for a while. Woo! And that's the purpose of this intro and this whole video. But to get this level of amazing content, this is a green screen. Petting the green screen because I'm so happy. You gotta watch the whole video. So I guess, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's roll the actual video. Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! So yeah, goofiness aside, let's talk about the cool stuff that's getting added to the game today, like now. As in, you might not have noticed it, but it's here. It's here. And it's good! How do I know it's good? Because this is phase one. Now please keep in mind what I'm saying. Phase uno. Uh, one. I don't know any other way to say one in any other language. But officers are getting a big update today. If you head over to your recruit tab, you'll see this. Ultra recruit, newly added officers. Now, let's just go over and say, hey, thank you. It's about daggum time. You open it up and holy bat shnikes Batman, there's a lot more epics and rares. In fact, almost every epic and rare in the game is now in this chest. That's good. This is quality. This is improvement. This is what the, the things that we've been needing for quite some time. Now, for those who are curious who's not in, let me go ahead and give you the list. There's a short list of officers who have not been added. Data, Jean-Luc Picard, Borg 3 of 10, which is Tapring, Borg 4 of 10, which is Stan, and we just got those the, you know, the past couple months, Jayla, T.O.S. Spock, Giorgio, and Khan. However, here's the okay thing with some of those. A couple of those officers have gotten added in another way, which we'll talk about in a second. And we got all these! <laughs> you can actually get T.O.S. Kirk and Larka. <laughs> Larka! Oh! Don't forget, there is still that chance to get a full pull. So now you can technically full pull Larka. Now, I know what some of you are immediately thinking. This just makes it harder to get some of the officers in the game. And there actually is a little bit of truth to that. Yes, overloading this with more officers does make it more difficult to get specific things. That is perfectly true because this is still sitting on some of our normals, our normal runs. That's fine, though, because like I said, this is the beginning of improving officer sourcing. It's something that we've been asking for, that officer sourcing had to get better. This is step one. Now, if this was all that was ever going to happen, sure, I'm with you. Let's gripe, complain, it's not good enough. Get out the pits for us, get out the shovels, get out the kitty paws. That's a Twitch thing. We don't know why that's here. But because this is going to be part of something that we hopefully find deeper progression over the next few months, I'm okay with it. It's finally adding in important officers in the game that have just simply not been there. And I think that's what most players need. And as I talked about, look over here. <gasps> Two new additions of officers that we actually care about, at least one of them. I mean, I don't know how many people are doing active base defense, but there's TOS Spock, who I don't have. And then Harry Mud, Eurydice, and Mud, Eurydice. They were added back in March. Anyway, we got two new additions with Giorgio. Now, the biggest one is Giorgio. Now, unlike DJ, I don't have one million transporter patterns laying around, but this is still really important. I have unlocked my Giorgio, but getting her leveled up is huge in the game. And we also talk about players who are not wanting to be the stereotypical Federation player. Maybe they want to go for an auger or a tribune. Well, Giorgio is huge for those loadouts and those ships, whether it's PvP, Armadas, Giorgio is the best burning officer in the game. And yes, that does matter. So having this ability to go after them in transporter patterns is huge. Now, just for a real quick re recap, recap, yeah, recap. If you aren't sure how to get transporter patterns, let me explain the process to you quickly. The ability to get transporter patterns is based on you having maxed officers, rares or epics. Now, just to reiterate, those rares and epics do not have to be maxed in terms you level them up. They simply have to be maximum number of shards. So for example, my Curlo right now is max shards. He cannot go any higher than he is, even though I haven't taken him to tier five. But if I pull a Klingon box and I get Curlo shards, those Curlo shards will then turn into transporter patterns. Let me see, I've got some laying around here. Let's see if that happens. I'm gonna pull a chest and let's just see if we get lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. You're going to open the chest. Show us what's in. There's Koth, which that turns into Officer XP. Uncommon's turned into Officer XP. There's Chang, who, by the way, transport parents. I also have Max, who I've not maxed out in terms of level and rank. And that's what I ended up getting. I'm going to do another one just because I mentioned Curla. I feel like we've got to get Curla. Yeah, so 
Watch this video be my RNG being awful. For the rest of this game, let's just watch my RNG be terrible the rest of the video. Come on, give me There's Chang again. I mean, I'll take it. I'm, I'm not complaining, I guess. There's Koth. All right. So you see it working. Let me just go back and show you that I don't have Chang maxed out. Sort by group. Here you... Son of a biscuit. Did I, I did take him to level five. Son of a gun. All right, we got to go back and do it again. I don't care. At this point, it's a matter of pride, Scopely. Stop embarrassing me on video. Why do you do this? Why do you embarrass me on video when I'm trying to support good things you're doing? Bunch of jerkwads, man. I can't stand these people. There we go. Better not be Chang again. All right, as Okay, cool, cool, cool. Y'all saw that I did not have hash max. Thank you. Good golly, Miss Molly. So... Your ability to get transporter patterns is based on whether you have epic or rare officers with maximum number of shards. Doesn't matter if they're leveled up all the way or you've upgraded them all the way. You simply have to have the maximum number of shards for that character. And as you can see, I have maximum number of shards for Az, but I do not have her upgraded. So that's how I get transporter patterns when I pull her in boxes. Whether it be a premium box or be an ultra box or the Klingon box, I'm going to get that for her, which is great. It's great. I really like that mechanic. So anyway, let's go back to this. As I said that basically everything in the game has gotten added and you will also be getting a gift chest today. I don't think it's come up yet. I'll check my gifts that they're giving you a free pull. They're giving you 800 ultras for everybody today, which is really nice. Just to remind everybody, we talked about this on the live stream. A lot of people forget that if you get alliance credits, one of the reasons I like being in a high tier alliance is alliance credits because then I have this box right here. I can get ultra recruit tokens using Alliance credits. Now the exchange rate is ridiculous and it's something that I really would like Scopely to improve because 4,000, even in a top Alliance, only getting one pull for all these officers definitely is very outdated, antiquated. It's awful, but it's there and we will work on getting them to improve that. Also, don't forget that your loyalty chest that you're accruing right now will also give you some of those tokens. So you got your seven day, we'll give you the premiums, but if you go to your 30 day, you should be getting ultras in there, a full pool of ultras. So, you know, they're, they're trying to add some better sourcing. It's not perfect, but it is getting better. So this is a great improvement to the game. Adding two new officers to transport patterns, including one that's an extremely important officer in the game, whether it's just for you or for your alliance. Remember, if you run Giorgio for burning in an armada, every ship in that armada can use it. If you've got six ships, like you're a level 39 player, and you bring Giorgio all six ships can use burning because you're burning the target. So all these different things that are getting added in officer-wise, as long as this is that step one, phase one, I'm so excited. I truly am because I think that the game can get stale sometimes, especially when you're trying to get something that's so hard to obtain. Lorca has been impossible. Now there's a path. It's not necessarily a pretty path, but the path before was basically for only 40 plus players who ran armadas. And we've talked about how the armada chests in the 40 plus are not good at all. They're very bad. So that wasn't necessarily a, a great selling point. Now you've got basically all the Borg officers, except for the brand new ones that just came out. You've got the TOS crew, which is huge for PVP. And you've got a lot of the newer ones as well, like Jordy LaForge and Deanna Troy, which I love how they threw in the ones that necessarily didn't go over that well. <laughs> I don't know why data's not in here, but like Jordy LaForge kind of fell semi-flat. Uh, Deanna Troy definitely was like, eh. and then William T. Riker was, I mean, I think he's a good card, but it's kind of, eh. So I appreciate all the additions. And then you've got regular Wharf in there, of course. We've got our TOS officers, TOS Ahura, who I really need to upgrade to that next tier, getting a lot of new officers. I do agree, because I know this is going to be a primary comment, that this does make sourcing a little bit more difficult because now the chest is loaded. As long as, I've repeated this three times now, as long as this is the phase one and we're moving to better things in the coming months, this is a fantastic change to the game, in my opinion. But if you don't agree, well you know exactly where you can take your opinion, okay? You've been told where to take your opinion your entire life. We're sick of your opinion, and you can take your opinion right now to the comment section below. In fact, I'd actually really appreciate it if you left me your opinion because I want to know, and I want to have your feedback because your feedback is what makes stuff like that happen. This happened because you, not me, you, your feedback, me being able to say, hey, look at all these people complaining about this, then they listen. It's all because of you. Nothing to do with this pretty ginger face. All you. Y'all are awesome. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with their space cowboys. Deuces. I'll catch you on the next one. And this video has no editing just because I was so excited. I was just like, you know what? We're just going to straight record it. Jump in and, and bring the energy. 
And that's what we did. And that's what got us this. Also, we got a North Cut video coming out. We got a Vorchow video coming out. Giving love to the new stuff. As well as a whole lot of other things. Join the Discord. Because uh, I need to know what you want to see in the video. Bye. That's it. We're done. Fancy intro music. Yeah.